My message uh, is always the same, you know, I, I want uh, peace. Daniil Medvedev, the number two ranked tennis player in the world. Rolling. In a speech today carried on Russian TV, Putin complained that he and Rowling are both victims of cancel culture. Russian dictator Vladimir Putin. The city of Mariupol has been besieged and bombarded by the Russians for weeks. The war in Ukraine. For those watching television news in Russia, there is no war in Ukraine. Only a special military operation designed to root out Nazis. And it's all going according to plan. Those pictures of bombed out cities? The Ukrainians did it to themselves, Russian state media insists. It sounds bizarre to Western ears, but experts say many, if not most, Russians believe it. And look at where the attacks are already intensifying. They're in the south, along the Black Sea. The Russians are pummeling the coast with missile strikes. And when you find the truth, share it. And a man who has been so incredibly soft on Russia while taking countless amounts of donations, Prime Minister Boris Johnson. You see, with many of those that are in politics, the blueprint is rather familiar and simple. Cover up your own wrongdoing slash corruption, case by case basis, of course. And with that, then you would create a storyline, thus shifting blame and putting all the attention on said storyline. Like, remember this of Medvedev? Could be banned from Wimbledon unless he denounces Russian President Vladimir Putin. That was the situation outlined during a meeting at the British Parliament this week. It's true. The same politicians who took donos and allegedly orders from Russian billionaires that the biggest town in the UK was nicknamed London grad is saying, you know what we should do? We should ban Russian tennis players and make them swear to denounce Putin. It's a smokescreen, plain and simple, but the story goes on. Sports Minister Nigel Huddleston, who gave wish-washy answers, let's be real, on Russian oligarch Roman Abramovich appears set to meet with All England Club to discuss Russian and Belarusian players who have been allowed to compete, just not under their country's flags. The BBC noted Russia has been banned from defending its Davis Cup and Billie Jean King Cup team titles after the country's invasion of Ukraine, a military operation supported by Belarus. Teams and athletes from both countries have been subject to a variety of suspensions and sanctions from a number of bodies across the sporting spectrum. Huddleston had said last month that he would not be comfortable with a Russian athlete flying the Russian flag and winning Wimbledon in London, adding Medvedev and others may have to provide assurances they denounce Putin. Now, why do I believe they are clinging to a former world number one, currently number two in the world? Here. What Johnson and his conservative Tory party want no headlines of is the following. He has been coined poodle on rubles because of his soft stances on Russia. In February, the UK targeted 15 individual Russians. By contrast, the EU's number at the time, over 700. When Labour MP Chris Bryant tried to bring up how Boris, in the beginning, lied about Russian sanctions, well, Johnson stormed out of Parliament. A fitting move for a corrupt individual that does not want to hear of his said corruption. A major report by the British Parliament's Intelligence and Security Committee in 2020 found Russian influence in the UK is, quote, the new normal, and, quote, there are a lot of Russians with very close links to Putin who are well integrated into the UK business and social scene and accepted because of their wealth. This level of integration, the report added, means that any measures now being taken by the government are not preventative, but rather constitute damage limitation. The prime minister will point to his denials and quotes like these for a distorted and intentionally dishonest rebuke to these claims of the Tories not only receiving donos, but being influenced by Russian money. Johnson's party has controlled the UK for the last 12 years. In that time, they've enabled dirty money to imperceptibly flood into the country's financial system, all while Johnson's party has been vacuuming and campaign cash from finance industry moguls and donors connected to Russian oligarchs. A recent report from Transparency International showed that more than 20% of the nearly $9 billion in total property value in the UK associated with potential money laundering is connected to what? The Kremlin. 